shrinking lakes and shifting coastlines. Our world is changing dramatically. Now, the evidence is in a new atlas, which is updated every four years. Its publishers say the landscape has changed to such an extent that they have had to redraw many areas. And, as David Shookman explains, it's not all down to global warming. The Earth is always changing, but now mankind's impact is clearer. Twenty years ago, Lake Chad looked like this. Now it's shrunk to a tenth of its original size. The map of this region has had to be redrawn dramatically. This is the latest version. The same has happened in Central Asia. The Aral Sea used to be one of the world's largest inland seas. Now it's a far smaller collection of lakes. And this is how the map makers have had to adjust to that. The waters here have been diverted for irrigation. The Aral Sea was once famous for its beauty. Now what's left are miles of wasteland. I saw that for myself a few years ago. Man's influence wiping a major feature off the map. Few places on Earth are left unscathed. There are still great wildernesses out there, but the, the amount of information that's available now does give that impression that the, you know, man's reach is increasing into these areas. The, the demand for resources is seemingly uh, unending. For explorers like Dr Livingstone, a little more than a hundred years ago, the challenge was simply to try to map the planets in the first place. Now the challenge for map makers is to try to keep up with the incredible rate of change to our deserts, to the cities, to the ice sheets, and of course to our climate. Global warming is one cause of change, but heavy industries like this in China extract huge amounts of water and as a result, the greatest rivers are suffering. This picture shows how the Yellow River used to flow to the coast. Now there are times when it's too dried up to make it. The question now, what damage will future maps have to convey? David Shookman, BBC News.